So we've seen this capitulation candle on Bitcoin. What do we do next? And for the record, I didn't think we'd get this today. So I've been proven wrong. But it's not about what I did. It's now about what we're going to do going forwards. I've seen some content creators go missing recently. I've seen a lot of people say, oh, you should have cashed that up here when I told you to. But none of that is any help to any of us right now. So I'm going to go through with you guys what I'm personally going to do and what some people in the space who I respect are doing as well. So before we get into it, guys, I'm also massively exposed to this market, 90% and it's all in XRP. I've got a tiny cash position on the side. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. How are we going to optimize that for the best results? So before I dive in, you guys should know this is just my personal opinion, not financial advice as always. But what I'm going to first start with is has the utility of your asset changed? If the answer to that is no, then stop panicking. We're going to treat this as an opportunity and do the best we can with the information that we've got right now. So I'm going to call on some experience from my good friend Raul Powell, who says the macro update, the SPX is now very close to pricing in a near immediate recession. ISM below 47 is the signal usually. Expect growth to collapse. The next step for the great unwind is oil. If this line goes, then inflation expectations, which are hugely correlated to oil, will likely fall. So he's basically saying if we lose this support line here, then we will likely fall uh, in terms of inflation. Then we should see yields fall for a while, equities, crypto, commodities see a full liquidation over the next few weeks. Then the Fed pivots a la 2018, but it will be too late and job layoffs are coming. House prices are likely to reverse somewhat and the economy will contract. So Raul is saying it's panic stations right now. The dollar has been too strong in terms of the economy. The Fed have over tightened on top, on top of the pressure that the bonds have been putting on the market. And with geopolitics, war and supply chain issues, this leads to a big problem is what he's saying. So as I said, what do we do and what am I going to do? So as I said, I have some cash to deploy, but where am I going to deploy that? So you can use this for any crypto asset, but I'm specifically using XRP for my example. So what we're looking for is the exact bottom where you think worst case scenario that crypto can go in price. For me, for example, I'm going to use 32 cent because that's the price over here. Right here, before we run up in 2017, that's what I'm going to use my absolute floor price for XRP. Could be lower, so I'll save about 10 to 20% of my bag just in case. So I'm then going to dollar cost average in on the way down. I'm going to deploy 10% here because there's a 1 in 10 chance Raul Powell's wrong and we do bottom out of here with El Salvador and other institutions potentially stepping in and buying the dip, but I think it's a low chance. And then I'm going to incrementally deploy the rest of my bag 10% at a time on key levels until I've got 20% of my original cash position left. Key levels are anything from whole numbers to previous support or Fibonacci retracement levels. So for example, and these aren't specific, we could say 10% at 45, 10% at 42, 10% at 40, etc. And then I'm going to take my crypto off exchanges into my wallet and huddle through because this is where big money is made if you do it right. Peace. 